Hey guys, welcome back to the Golang and React Calorie Tracker Full Stack Project Series. Uh, we had completed our backend last time. There are a couple of issues as you can see. Uh, there are some things that are in red. But before you start debugging and before you start solving these issues, make sure that you're in the same Golang version that I am on, which is 1.18.4. Um, this is a new setup, so I'm, I'm using it on a new PC. There was, there was some issues with my old PC, so now I'm on 1.18.4. Make sure you're on the same as well, um, because then we can have, like, you know, you won't find issues then. Uh, this code definitely won't work for 1.14 and below, I think, because by default on this PC, when I just, uh, I was setting up this PC, it was on 1.14, it wasn't 1.13, I think, 13. It wasn't working properly. So I made sure to uh, switch to the latest version of Go. And now everything, uh, you know, at least I know will work fine. All right, so the issues that I see here, uh, first is that, you know, this the validate, there was a validate function uh, package that we had imported here, which was the, uh, this package, right? And that's the one that's giving us these issues. And that's because we had to initialize, I forgot to initialize the validate variable validator dot new, right? So you can't directly use this validator. You have to call the new function and then you have to assign it to a validate variable and then you'll be able to uh, use it. And then all the swiggle lines, they go away. Now the other issues are that here in a couple of places I have not completed this it should have been internal server error the other issue that you can see is with c.json and that's that's the reason why there's so many issues with this file and that's only because there's this dot here at the end and once you remove that all the issues go away this the file is not read anymore and everything looks all right it's, it's uh, good to go there's no it's not red anymore okay and now what we'll do is we'll try running this in the um, uh, in, in the terminal and see if the program starts up so i'm now in my terminal and here we'll say go run main.go and it all seems to be working fine okay like we have all the routes running and the server is running on 8000 now uh, please note that this is a new setup so i uh, i have not installed mongodb yet in this but it will work so i know it'll work so i'll um, you know on my own time i'll install mongodb and you know, everything but what you need to check is if the server is running or not and all these um, commands show up or not right mongodb is not important right now because uh, when we build our front end and we test the back end with our front end, that's when to store that data will require MongoDB. And by then I will have um, installed it and fixed it, like set it up. But you need to ensure that the server is running at 8000, all right? So this is it for this video. Just wanted to uh, iron out these issues. In the next video onwards, we'll start working with the front end quickly. So it'll be about two, three videos more in the front end, I think three videos max. And then the project will be over. So thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.